Hello everybody, welcome to the first round of the Blood Bowl 3 Chalice. We have, we have got Elliot versus Shtick. Elliot with a two and a half million TV Dark Elf team. <laughs> uh, versus, I can't remember Shtick's team, but I can tell you that it's not as good as Elliot's team. <laughs> Oh, dwarves. Disgusterous Rando Dwarfs. 1700s, they got 800 TV of inducements. Will it be enough? Probably not. Um, so this is... Uh, this is a friendly match, because it's the only way they could have the cup. So there will be no permanent injuries. Eliod's so Eliod can fling his fling his L's at problems to solve them, and uh, they won't be punished. He won't be punished in the super long term. But obviously, he's not going to be mental because he wants to win the game that's in front of him. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen this match. That's good. <laughs> uh, we've got a lot of guard, stand for mighty blow. All of these five players have guard. Mighty blow, stand firm, guard, guard, mighty blow, stand firm. <laughs> so at least it's easy to see what Dick has got. Uh, Elliot cast this on his channel, so I shall put the link in the description so you can uh, check out Elliot. Great streamer, great person. What a legend! Great at Blood Bowl. If I could make a fan club to any Blood Bowl streamer. It would be Elliot. <laughs> decent chef. Excellent lover. <laughs> I don't know if he's a decent chef. <laughs> Stirs mushrooms too much. Yeah, I mean, he's unironically a great streamer and great at Blood Bowl as well. Like, I wasn't... I wasn't... I wasn't being a dickhead. He is... He is, uh... You know, he's won, won a major on Fumble. Now, only the best people can do that. Uh, you know, he's qualified for challenges loads of times every race. Over over 70% win rate. Um, and CCL knows what he's talking about. And uh, and very entertaining stream, I think. And, you know, don't know him too well as a person, I'll be honest with you. But... From what I know of him, a great person. <laughs> oh, interesting that you can put 12 on the pitch. That's weird, isn't it? Isn't that weird that you can just put 12 on the pitch? That's kind of weird. That they even let you do that. You know, like, you would think they would just stop you putting the 12th on and then take somebody off to put on the 12th. It's kind of weird. So Elliot has got, what, two sneaky gits there? Two DP sneaky gits. And he's got, he's, again, like, uh, like Nick, he took a, you know, everyone in this tournament, he took a few randoms at the end. Um, yeah, only two and a half K. Only two and a half K has me, but yeah, it's, I mean, this is a ludicrous, ludicrous team. Yeah, well, I mean, that 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 is what happens, right? It looks like he did it just for the science. Why hasn't he got a player here? Um, so I, that, that's how the rules, if you set up more than 12, your opponent chooses who goes on the bench. Um... So, like, you know, that is following tabletop, I guess, to be able to set up more people, but it's just it's just weird, isn't it? I, I don't know how that works. <laughs> but anyway, uh, a totally boring team from Shtick. The runner's probably got movement aid. Unfortunately, you can't see... Um, you can't see stats displayed easily. Inducement-wise, looks like he's got a... Bribe, sorry, I'm belching because I just crammed loads of food down my neck in a, in a little short break on the stream. So I've I've eaten loads and now have hiccups. That's fantastic. 
Um, I guess he's induced the uh, the roller. That's weird. That's a weird thing to induce, though, isn't it? Like he's definitely induced Morgan Thorg here. And yeah, he's got loads of Stan Fern card, Mighty Blow. I guess he took them random first. Like it's got Disgustrous Randor Dwarf, so maybe he took a random skill first, and that's why three of them have got. St well, he's got what one Mighty Blow first and two Stan Fern first. And another mighty blow first there, so maybe just randomed into one of those three skills. The thing is, you you could get a, you could get kind of a crap skill, um, not not crap, but like one of the not so good skills, like grab or something as your first skill. And because it's only ten TV, take another random to make up for it. So um, so you know, like there isn't there isn't an element of if you get one of the not quite as good ones. Even break tackle to a point. The, the fact that you can then get the second one for ten as well means that I would, I wouldn't mind taking two randoms on, on things. It's interesting. The randoms are interesting. At least, at least the randoms are interesting, right? The problem with this, this level up system is that, uh, you know, it's taken away the fun, right? Like, it, okay, it is definitely fairer. To um, do you know people sit pay the mark TV and get a normal and stuff, compared to you know in a in a league, in the other rules somebody could just get plus strength by by being lucky, but you know fairness is not as good as fun, is it? There's a reason. There's a reason why loot boxes are popular because people like gambling, <laughs> basically. No, under scrutiny. Wow. I guess that's uh I guess Elliot's under scrutiny. It's impossible to tell who's under scrutiny and stuff, by the way, all of the UI is absolutely terrible. Hello pirate bear. Yeah, you can just like randomly do that. You know, I, I and and the MVP, you know, like the D three MVP was, was fairer and more fun. That's the funny thing, that the D three MVP was an unbelievably good rule, right? Um I remember UK BBL at the season I played of that. Um, somebody else had, I had Necro, no, I had Undead. And someone had Necro. And, uh, I don't, this might be a total lie. <laughs> no, it's not, I remember it. They, they, got, they just got like loads of MVPs. All of their MVPs fell on like their Flesh Golems, right? And like my MVPs went, went to zombies. And you could imagine like that kind of thing you know, but more serious. Could be super like could be super annoying for people in a in a local league or whatever. Uh, players just getting, you know getting so far behind just from random MVP roles. Yeah, it's rough augmented beard, it's rough. <laughs> it's rough. Um, so yeah we we've got the side view because this is Elliot's video. And you know, we, there's no cabal vision or anything. We just have to go off, off the, uh, off the vods on Twitch. So it's probably, it's also probably like not as good as, you know, probably not as good at source, but still probably not as good as watching. You know. It is, it's exactly the same quality, isn't it? Because it's literally Elliot stream, so you know, it's the same quality, but can't, you know, control the camera or anything, and. Uh, is what it is. He got very lucky there earlier, didn't he? Took all these mighty blow hits and just took absolutely nothing on his armor 17. Pretty lucky. Oh no, they're armor 8, they're dark elves. <laughs> I thought they were pro elves still. <laughs> so it's dark elves versus dwarves. I literally thought it was pro elves. I think I said pro elves in the, in the lead up as well, even though there's a picture of a dark elf. <laughs> I just know that Elliot likes pro elves. He, he won his major with pro elves. I just thought this was pro elves for some reason. So can you tell which one of the blitzers? Maybe these two? These two are witch elves. You can tell which ones are the witch elves. Um, is this an assassin? Or a runner maybe? This definitely looks a different style of player there. <laughs> and the dwarves. Can definitely tell which one's the death roller. And the 
control slow and stuff. So the dwarves are a decent team for telling who's who. That was one of the reasons I made a dwarf team. Defensive on this guy. Defensive is a pretty decent late pick, I guess, on uh, on Delves. Eh? If you're gonna have, um... oh look at that displaying that you could leap there. Interesting tactical thing. They don't cafe beans. No, they, we do not have replays in Blood Bowl Three. Uh, so this is ghetto, ghetto casting of the vods. If he leaps to here, it's a three plus. Uh, Oh, but he can't leap from there. And if he'd gone from here, it would have still been a four plus. Wow! So he, he does gets the leap over. That's I mean that's pretty cool. I don't know how much of that was Elliot thinking it was the best play, and how much of it was he's got defensive anyway. <laughs> um. I don't know how much of that was think him thinking it was the best player, but it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, that is a super interesting uh, thing that opens up. Having this knocked out, like the wrestle, that's, that's really interesting, right? Wrestle. Putting him down with wrestle and then using the jump mechanic to get to somewhere where you shouldn't be able to get to. So that's, that's a pretty cool use of 2020 rules by... You know, Elliot, who is a bit of a veteran, he has played a bunch of Blood Bowl. Yep, so this is a Movement 8, Edge 2 Plus runner. You briefly saw there, so a very good runner. I don't know if there's any Diving Tackle. I don't think there's Diving Tackle there. So it should be relatively easy to clear both of them. And cage up. Good chance of this going 1-1 one, one and uh, going overtime here. The problem is if Elliot gets a bit lucky, he's gone. He's also got 16 players with res, so he, he can kind of throw bodies at the problem a little bit. A lot of random skills you can see here with like the frenzy and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of obvious which, which were the random ones. If you can discern what the skills mean, um, but yeah. Shtick, of course, is a Blood Bowl Two Chalice veteran. That's a Blitzer, so no, no tackle on him. Probably should have had uh, his tackle near the ball. Without diving tackle, it was just a two plus to dodge away. Movement eight, he can go wherever the fuck he wants. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Hmm. I was in chat, but I have got no idea what I was responding to. Yeah, guard players can't assist even if they're unmarked. Yeah, it's really stupid. That's what people were saying. I don't know, you know, if it's confirmed or if it's been fixed or whatever. But allegedly, having defensive on this guy would mean that if you blitz this defensive guy, um, and you would have had a normal assist, you don't get the assist because you've got defensive. <laughs> Which is pretty terrible. But entirely believable. Oh, the fog. Not doing a lot yet. Stand firm, looking pretty good. Elliot with a uh, Thomas T step. No, he's not. He's going out.
I quite like this view for, for watching a game, honestly. I didn't hate it for playing, but I thought when looking at it, it could be a good thing for watching a match. I think I'd rather have the tackle there. I mean, I guess he's not going to touch him from uphill anyway. Yeah, blue ball three, much better. <laughs> much better when not playing. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> and, like, could it maybe, like, you know, zoom in a bit more or whatever? Make it look a bit more... A bit nicer to look at. A bit like, you know... I do leave the Blood Bowl 3 music running on purpose because without it, it would just be complete silence. Uh, because, of course, don't want to play the. Can't really play the, uh, the sound of this stream. So, you know, what can I do? Can't just have. Si like, silence would be really weird, wouldn't it? Complete silence would be a bit rubbish and can't have the sound of the other people stream. It's already cheeky enough restreaming the uh, the video, but obviously the audio has got them talking and stuff on it as well, so it would be absolutely terrible to do. Big jugs. Gets rid of the stand firm. Here we go, sneaky get foul. Elliot with the Blood Bowl three strats. Get a big foul in every turn, hope for the best. Diced. I really like the uh, Blood Bowl one. Everybody. Like, you know, all the assists are animated as well. Five rerolls still doesn't reroll that. Absolute scumbag. Game of filled. In my defence, to be honest, it was, it was just, I just decided to do it on the fly. There was no tripod or anything, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> It was pretty cool watching the watching like you know watching people that I know. I, I think it wouldn't be as good with just random people, right? I think random people, like you know, the, the if it was like table one at Nafsi or whatever, it might be a bit shit because I don't care about random people. You know, no offense, but like, <laughs> like you know. Watching store or Volk and things like that. It's pretty cool, isn't it? But like just watching a random match. I will you know, they wouldn't want to hear me. I wouldn't be invested in the result at all. <laughs> so it would be a bit weird. And I guess I mean I don't really know the people in a lot of the commentary in CCL, but still, I think it'd be different in person, right? I think it'd be different in person. Um, I could see them not particularly liking me commentating on it. It'd be weird. But I mean, in, I'd be kind of up for it in in a uh, You know, I'd be up for the concept of commentating in tabletop. But I mean, McNaughton, McNaughton versus Stall is like as good a match as you can get on tabletop, honestly. Like, two people who are known for, uh, for banter. Really good. Hello, Enzo. It's just more gonna blitz somebody. Cheeky Morg Blitz. I 
is this exciting? It's the most exciting game you've ever seen, and though it doesn't blitz the start, the sneaky gate. Could he have done one, two, three, four, five, six? He could have done. He could have run all the way around. I think blitz the sneaky gate. Probably should have done. Elliot does love to uh, ignore a, a defensive drive, so you may well carry on ignoring this and just foul foul that dwarf lineman to death. Are you tagging him to uh Oh to stop the assist or going for the one day on the ball. Flip me. Very aggressive from Elliot. I guess he's got the rerolls, hasn't he? So he'll just keep keep trying speculative shots. Oh, he caught it, and then foul. <laughs> oh, he got caught. Injury was a double three. So yeah, I think the defense is almost completely shot for Elliot now. Ooh, rolls a one. Doesn't re-roll? Did he not have a re-roll? No, he did re-roll, he just rolled a double one. Wow. Rolls a double one on the catch. And Elliot is all of a sudden... He can't scatter it unless he uh, unless he blitzes Morg. But I mean, I don't know if he's got a one plus player or not. But whatever happens... Oh, he's got Juggernaut, so he could, he could scatter. He's not scattering it, but he could have scattered it. Gonna go for the four plus pickup. This is where the uh, elves being worse at passing matters, right? In the old days, this would be a four plus pick up, two plus pass, two plus catch, off he goes. Whereas now it'd be a four plus pass if he wants to do the pass. Doesn't really want to do it. If there's a couple of GFIs, it'd be okay, but um, not okay. Oh, he's got the runner to do the pass, oh, okay. Obviously the GFI is no good. He's got five re-rolls, is he going to try the GFI? I think he is. Yeah, obviously a lot more point in having a runner now. A lot more point in having a runner nowadays. Or like, you know, throwers on elf teams, because... He might just be in the right place. And it's only a little bit of TV. There we go, we're away. Turn four. Ball stolen. And you gotta say it was a bit it was a bit lax by Shtick, right? He's got all this guard on the team and he managed to get a cage that didn't have a guard on on a corner. Was able to you know, Elliot was able to dodge in and get the one D. He shouldn't have had that opportunity. 
And while he was unlucky to double one the hand off afterwards, he was also lucky to catch it in the first place. You just, you know, you, Elliot did the nice leaps over and stuff to get the 2D earlier as well. Like some good plays from Elliot, and uh, yeah, a bit lax from Shtick. TBH. Maybe he just wasn't expecting Elliot to be this rowdy. It was a pretty rowdy play from Elliot. And I guess you know the fact he's got a really good team and five rerolls encouraged him to be a bit more rowdy and res as well. nice. Why is it side on? Because this is how Elliot plays, Enzo. This is how Elliot plays, he likes it. I think, I, I it, honestly, if I had Cabal Vision available to me, I may go for a, for a camera angle somewhat like this. I think it's pretty cool for watching, right? It's a bit like watching a football and that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yep, Caval Vision does not exist. But now that uh Yeah, bear in mind though as well though, this is all on the lower settings, right? This is all on the lower settings as well. You literally have to lower your settings to make the gameplay easier to watch. And it's still clunky to play. But it is what it is. Um, and yeah, Yak has messaged everyone anyway, so everyone has now consented to have their uh, <laughs> to have their streams restreamed. <laughs> but uh, Elliot mega consented. So yeah, he's oh wow, he's cheerifying. Is that just a misclick? Was he like trying to foul the witch elf and just misclicked? Because fouling the witch elf sure seemed a good idea, seeing as he's like just gonna not gonna get sent off soon. Oh no, he's got the bribe, so he can use the bribe to keep it on. Okay. The roll is so weird. I can't understand if he actually induced it or if he just had it. Or what. God, there's some awful yak coming here. Yes, it does take as long as a it does take as long as a live game. Yep, that is the that is the bad thing. And obviously, can't you know? Can't use the mods for the uh, the better skill icons can't, you know, mouse over anybody to see their stats or, you know, because you, you can't see stats on this view, you can only see the skills, but like there's, you know, some of these guys have got move 8 and stuff, um, but you just can't see the stats, can't move the camera and that, but you know, it's 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 kind of cool to, uh, it's better than nothing, right, it's, it's pretty cool that, uh, first of all, that they made the competition, and second of all, that there is a way to cast it. A very cool initiative from Yak and the admin team. Got a stand firm blitzer. Elliot did rando, rando, uh, rando strength, didn't he, for a few of them? So this, this stand firm was random. But still 20 TV, so just the same as size stuff, really. So really, by going a random strength skill, you're really only getting guard or mighty blow that are good. So it's a bit bit rubbish, but I guess it's really good getting it for 20, 20 TV, isn't it?
Yes, I mean, it is on their roadmap, having Cabal Vision. And it would be nice, because I, I don't really enjoy playing Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> it's, it's not really an enjoyable experience for me. Um, but obviously, casting games can be fun. I know it's a shocking take, the boomer. I know it's a shocking take, but it's just—it's just literally not fun to play. Like it's you're fighting against the UI and, the, and you know the controls, everything. It's just—it's just tough. It's tough to play. I've had one game of Blood Bowl three against a competent opponent and it was it was super unenjoyable because that was when like battling with the UI and everything was really hard because then it was like oh god I don't have to play Blood Bowl at the same time as I'm playing Blood Bowl 3 if that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> God, I don't actually have to play Blood Bowl. Like, you know, it was just, it was just hard. It was just, it's hard work to endure Blood Bowl three. Yeah. Yeah. Dead, dead, dead. Of course, he'll be back for next game because the playoffs are res. It's the only way to have a tournament. It's the literal only way to have a tournament in in the game as it is. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's something, isn't it? But hey, all credit to the admins and that for getting this to work. And uh, it is a sick angle, Ollie. You're right, Ollie, Ollie, Bolly, Nolly, Nolly, Ollie, Ollie, Nolly. Normally it's Nolly, right? Because in this year, it seems weird to say Ollie. So the apple is used and works. Huge, huge apple there. Blodge step garda with another agility skill. That, maybe that was a brand. I don't know what he was looking for there. Thanks for the follow, Scrofula. Well, I mean, I couldn't tell what it was. The first injury was. Maybe it's a no. A safe pair of hands is a throwing throwing skill. I don't know what that one is. Maybe he was hoping for a defensive. No. Yes. What? Safe pair of hands is a throwing skill. I mean, everybody should have the emotes disabled because they're stupid and can glitch a game. I mean, I guess everything can, but... You should have just gone an extra square, right? You had an extra square, you could have been an extra one there. I guess maybe he could then get hit, whereas now he's safe in an eye cage. Is safe pair of hands an edge skill? Doesn't make any sense. Somebody said it was safe pair of hands, but it was a passing skill. Like earlier, somebody had a passing skill that said, and that was they said that was safe pair of hands, and it only makes sense to have it be a passing skill. It is Archie. I 
I wonder what that skill was earlier. I thought I thought the skill earlier was uh, was Hail Mary Pass, and people were like, "No, it's a pair of hands." And now they're saying that safe pair of hands is an agility skill, so that that wasn't safe pair of hands. So I don't know what to think anymore. The passing's got a lot of shit skills. I just got a lot of shit skills as well, to be fair. Safe pair of hands. What a terrible, what a terrible, terrible skill safe pair of hands is. Wow, it's so bad. It's literally so bad. It's got to be one of the worst skills in the game. Iron hard skin's really bad. Arm bar's really bad. Lots of passing skills are really bad, to be fair. Running pass is really bad, isn't it? Hail Mary pass is really bad. There's so many really bad skills. Yeah, I quite like this for watching a game. It's weird, there's not much difference between watching and playing, is there? So, I try to play like this. Probably easier if you used to fumble to play like this, isn't it? Hail Mary's got the minuses for range now, Enzo. <laughs> so it's, it's almost useless. And like, tackle zones. It just has normal minuses. It's proper stupid. So yeah, Hail Mary's terrible now. I mean, you can, you could give it to a bomber, I guess, and, and throw bombs with a big minus. But... Really, really bad. Really bad. Like, really, really bad. And I guess there would be times when, like, you're in, in the corner and you could throw it and stuff, but... Gets the pal. memeing on Elliot a bit there in chat, but I was assured that everyone had agreed, but it apparently just happened. <laughs> apparently they hadn't agreed, but now they've been told they agreed. So that's basically the same thing as agreeing, isn't it? This is turn seven. And somehow, Shtick has not got into range at all. It's amazing how much I just don't want to look at the match, honestly. Like, I didn't even know that I'd seen this match. Because I just don't, when I just watch other people's streams, I just don't watch the matches anymore. Just a bit of light trolling. <laughs> well, you can just get pushed back there. Not much guard, I mean, okay, there's a guard right next to him, but not much guard apart from 
Like, to say this is a 2500 TV team, there's not a lot of guard on Elliot's team. It is pretty annoying to be fair the music constantly. But the problem is like I'd have to find a royalty free crowd noise or something instead, which I didn't really think it through and didn't find that. So the frenzy trap is okay here because you just had to push him back one. Pushes him back too. I think it had five rerolls and didn't use any. Or maybe he had six and used one. Interesting. Oh, because the school would be better get, rather than getting served. Going for one in four sack. Wow. A greedy nom. <laughs> oh, to go for the to go two nil up. <laughs> Pack of gnomish rations. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> I love the discovering of uh, the discovering of the crossbow. To be honest, pretty cool. Pretty cool that <laughs> we had the firing squad of two light crossbows and a hand crossbow. <laughs> Russians. If you if 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 you and Daedal weren't small, you could have long bows, and then like Dimmy could have a long bow, and I've got a long bow, and then we if we spotted somebody miles away, we could just pepper them with arrows. <laughs> just literally shoot them from like six hundred foot six hundred foot away, and just like shoot, have ten shots each of them by the time they got close to us. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be pretty funny. Like, obviously, if they didn't have long range weapons themselves. Ranged weapons, pretty good. He's <laughs> only an Englishman here. Yeah. Yeah, longbow is pretty good. So yeah, obviously, uh, Shtick just trying to get the nil-nil now. He didn't get enough penetration. Let's so just have to retreat to the center. Oh 
Oh man. Is the wrestle here? No. Wrestle might have been interesting opening something up. Nick not giving Elliot advice there, quite clearly. <laughs> you just had to clarify that. In through the uh, non-tackle. We can take the push right and then roll. But is he into an uphill 3D? I think he's up to an uphill 3D. So maybe he has to re-roll this. And then he can up re-roll the uphill 3D as well, right? With three re-rolls. That's probably exactly the thought process that Elliot went through there. Looking at his face cam. <laughs> oh, Kaz is himself. Elliot having a bit more trouble than Nick. Nick hardly took any damage in his game. Elliot taking a fair bit there. Oh, the under scrutiny meant that The roller was sent off. Did he use his... Oh, it already been... No, he'd already used the bribe. He'd already used the bribe, hadn't he? He'd already used the bribe after the first touchdown. Yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. Disregard. This is really rough for shtick, isn't it? <laughs> it's funny that it was 800 TV down. <laughs> and even after... A send off and three cars. Elliot still has a full 11. Everyone loving the. Uh, everyone loving the Elliot and Nick stream. It was pretty great. Pretty great meeting Day Nick in real life. Would be great to meet Elliot in real life. Maybe one day. And he's run out of time. Oh, man, I kind of hate that you don't go into time bank for setup. That should be on the... Uh, on, like, the suggestions, right, that you can go into time bank for setup because two minutes isn't very long for a setup sometimes. Like, you know, especially if you have, like, a... a like I, I don't really know what the idea is meant to be of the time bank, but if it's for difficult things, then there can be difficult setups. And if it's for like something happening in real life, then something can happen in real life when you're setting your men up. So I think whatever the rationale for the time bank, it should be usable during setups. Like Elliot's going for the uh, two turn, go 2 0 up and win.
I apparently was here for the whole match, but can't remember anything that happened in it. <laughs> No, he doesn't. Double ones, the shoe of hands. Oh, man. Well, that is super interesting. Should he have moved somebody else in to cover? Probably not. Would he have had other people to cover if this was a, a planned Dakar? Yes. <laughs> I think it was correct not to have extra cover there. But this could get very messy now. Flip me. This doesn't look like a Dakar. Great insight from Jimmy Fantastic. I mean, this is just exactly what Stick needed, wouldn't it? After being 1 0 down. Maybe, just maybe. He can get through here, get the ball on the opponent's drive. And uh, snag a 1 1. Deserve TBH! <laughs> Didn't Dakar. Imagine not Dakar. Non the boomer, no chicken broccoli and rice to do. Also the balls scatter. Pick that up with that runner. <laughs> that was pretty ridiculous. And Morg can uh, complete the cage almost. I think they were. No, when were they playing this? Maybe before um, Five Idiots. Well, no, because Elliot was in Five Idiots. Oh, yeah, he was in Five... No, yeah, I think this might have been before Five Idiots. So I had to stop watching. To get ready for Five Idiots, that makes sense. You can get it and then go back one, right? We've got one square back, or two squares back. We GFI'd. So a bit of cover from Morg. I mean, still a 1D on the ball if you want. I have been abandoned, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I have been abandoned. Dimmy and Hancock were straight out when mention of Blood Bowl 2, 3 was made. Elyod very kindly joined us for a bit. But now, he's not watching his own game.
Don't watch the bot. Sound advice. Oh, grab. The Randor grab. Oh, that's a, not a bad idea, is it? Maybe, <laughs> maybe I should do that in future. Watch them all at 1.5 speed. <laughs> How fast can we go? Two speed. We could just go double speed. We could just go double speed. <laughs> Declare a pass or anything. Well, sticks only got one minute of a of a time bank left. Oh, it's Four and a half. Oh, he gets the dodges. Rolls all the dice. Oh, he blitzed. Okay. That was the blitzer. I didn't know if it was someone else getting the ball. Oh, man. Three plus GFI. I can't go for another one. He, well, he's still got another reroll, though, right? He's still got the rerolls. He's got five rerolls, so. Why not? I just kind of hate it because I'd be such a good chance of failing, but oh, it's sick, isn't it, that you can just do that? Oh, disgusting. Disgusting. Couldn't you move him without any dice rolls first? Isn't this a vanity dodge? Can he just go there? Yeah, there we go. This guy could have just moved first. A slight ordering issue from Elliot. Disgusting. <laughs> Terrible play. <laughs> but no, to be fair, like if he'd failed the GFIs, maybe he'd have rather had that guy over here than here, so it's not exactly it's not a hundred percent that he should have moved him first anyway or whatever. <laughs> yeah, pretty good one. It pretty good ball sack recovery. Everything, some rolled some dice, but you know, rolled some dice, but they all worked. Maybe he could have kept using rerolls there, honestly, with the uh, with five rerolls available. It is a bit silly, isn't it? It is a bit silly, elves with multiple rerolls. Especially 2,500 TV elves. <laughs> and like stat up elves, right? Add one plus, strength four or five, move nine. Just the things you can do and then just keep chucking rerolls at them as well. Pretty strong. The, I don't know if it, I mean, obviously eight is the maximum when you can use one, one a turn, eight was the maximum, I'm not, I'm not sure if there's a max, maximum. <laughs> Dump off icon looks funny, doesn't it? <laughs> so you have to choose, the you have to make a decision whether to dump off or not. When the blitz is declared, obviously Elliot doesn't choose to dump off. And now we can screen it. Might as well. 
stall for another turn here. Very, very low risk. And this is where, you know, maybe he could uh, risk his better players because it's res. And if it was Chalice, he'd be like thinking of, you know, maybe it's this guy up here with the uh, with the stand firm and the, like, is that stand firm? Grab, guard, defensive, lodge step. You know, this character, he'd be keeping safe, right, if it wasn't res. But now, because it's res, he can just tag anybody because it's okay. I don't know if there's a max amount of rerolls. Like, I know there's a max, you know, movement, strength, agility, armor values. I don't know if there's a max amount of rerolls you can have. Because, uh, you know, the fact you can use multiples. It was the sensible limit in, in Blood Bowl 2, but. And, you know, CRP, but I don't know if, they, if it was stated that it was the maximum. I mean, honestly, El Elliot is not giving away many induce many more inducements by going up to eight or whatever. Oh, sorry, I'm just coughing my guts out there in real life. Um, so yeah, Shtick is just giving up now, passing turns. Fair enough. You know, he's already 1-0 down. He's not going to... Uh, it's not going to... It's just not realistic that he gets in the way. Forces an early enough score that he can... Uh, he can have time to score two. Carry on! So... Completely fair from Shtick to give up there. So there you go, I can pause that for the outro screen. So um, yeah, there you go. Um, well played, Elliot. congrats to him. Commiserations to Shtick, and uh, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.